oceans are immensely deep and vast. Resultantly, we've dedicated a little effort to explore oceans compared with space. We know a lot more about outer space than our oceans. There are so many things hidden in the depths of the Earth's oceans and are yet to be discovered. But also, some of the strangest and most bizarre stuff has been discovered underwater. From a magnet fishing mystery to ghost planes, all kinds of unbelievable things have been discovered in the depths of the ocean. Today, we're going to talk about 20 bizarre things which are found underwater and nobody can explain their existence. Douglas DC-3 Dakota Douglas Dakota DC-3 used to fly 8,000 feet high, but now it rests 70 feet under the Mediterranean Sea. This 65-foot-long jet served as a transporter for a Turkish paratrooping unit and was intentionally sunk off the coast of Kas, Turkey in 2009. Since then, it serves as a diving playground. 46-year-old Rico Besserdisch, a resident of Hamburg, Germany, has conducted more than 50 dives on the wreck with a 30-meter wingspan. The skeleton of the jet provides a haven for aquatic species, barracuda, where shrimp cobays reside in the cold and under the plain shade. The first Douglas DC-3 was manufactured in the UK and started flying in 1935. A total of over 13,000 aircraft were manufactured. More than 10,000 C-47 Skytrains were built and used for military purposes by Allied countries. The last DC-3 was manufactured in 1945, but some of its versions are still being used by countries like Bolivia and Tonga. Manganese Balls Scientists making efforts to ascertain where potato-sized metal balls that litter the world's waters come from. Manganese balls were discovered in 1873 and contain rich metals. The biggest concentration of manganese nodules was discovered in the Atlantic, and German scientists may be closer to resolving the enigma of their genesis. Manganese nodules were found when the RV Son, a research ship sailing several hundred miles east of Barbados, accidentally came across metal boulders varying in size from golf balls to bowling balls. Researchers believe that some of the nodules might be a hundred million years old. Manganese may be found in all oceans, but the Pacific Ocean has the most, which were found at depths of about 16,400 feet and 18,000 feet. Manganese nodules may be useful for archiving climatic and environmental data. The Underwater River A huge underwater river runs below the Cenota Angelita in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. This phenomenon is caused by the presence of hydrogen sulfide, which settles at the bottom of the river, and forms a distinct layer of water as it is heavier than salt water. It may reach depths of more than 100 meters. Cenote is the name used for a cave with fresh water and is used to characterize delinegas, a sinkhole phenomenon observed all over the world, especially in Central America. The Mayans used to revere Cenote and used it for religious ceremonies. The first 20 meters of Cenote are filled with clean water, but gradually it becomes muddy. The Yonaguni Monument there exists an awesome underwater rock pyramid situated about 205 meters below the surface of the Sea of Japan and is known as the Yonaguni Monument. It has been named after Yonaguni Island, located about 100 kilometers from Taiwan in the Japanese archipelago, which stretches approximately 4,000 kilometers from the Kamchatka Peninsula to the island of Taiwan. The monument was discovered in 1986 when some local hunters looking for hammerhead sharks came across this marvelous structure. Earthquakes, which frequently occur in this area, have severely broken the covered sandstone rock stratum that covers Yonaguni. The tourist who discovered it has been to the location Isaki Point or Ruins Point, and it seemed to him like a man-made castle underwater. The Sea of Galilee Oddity A cone-shaped stone structure weighing approximately 60,000 tons has been discovered in the bed of the Sea of Galilee, which is 13 miles long and 8 miles wide, located in Israel. The structure is about 10 meters high and 70 meters broad and is made of basalt cobbles and pebbles one meter long. It was found by researchers in 2003 while conducting a sonar scan. Results of the research have been published in the International Journal of Nautical Archaeology. The structure lies about 20 meters below the water surface. It was probably built on the land to commemorate a tomb and due to the rise in water level, it submerged. Underwater Crop Circles Giorgio Cara, an underwater photographer, has been studying the ocean depths for about five years. He was astonished to see underwater gigantic patterns mimicking crop circles 
and termed it as Mystery Circle, which is more than six feet in diameter and has complex ridges accompanied by radiating patterns. It is situated 80 feet below the ocean's surface. Yoju Okada revisited the spot with a television team. They discovered that the pattern was created by pufferfish, which is enjoyed in Japan as a delicacy. The fish brings the shells in a circular pattern, breaking and distributing the fragments along the inner ridges of the pattern. These patterns attracted female fish for mating with the male and placed their eggs in the circle's center area. Experts believe that the patterns protect the eggs by neutralizing currents and making them less vulnerable to predators. World War II Treasure in 1942, HMS Edinburgh was sunk by a German U-boat. It lay unnoticed about 800 feet below the water's surface, approximately 200 miles off of Murmansk. It had a crew of 850 members and 465 gold bars on account of payment of war material from the USSR to the USA. In 1981, a salvage crew found the wreckage and 431 gold bars having the present-day value of about £173 million. Each gold bar weighed about 23 pounds. The ship had been purposefully destroyed by the British destroyer to safeguard gold being retrieved by the Germans after being hit by the U-boat. The British and Soviet authorities shared the gold among themselves, the coalition of British salvage business and investors who worked on the project. The Baltic Anomaly In 2011, a monolithic platform with a 200-meter-long diameter was discovered on the floor of the Baltic Sea. It resembles the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. Some people believe it is anti-submarine equipment from World War II, lying at a depth of about 300 meters. Peter Lindbergh, chairman of the Swedish underwater research organization Ocean T. Max, says that Mother Nature is its actual architect. Mysterious communication originating from the object, which is made of magnesium, iron, and titanium, forced everyone to turn off their phones and instruments at the time of discovery as a 40 megahertz signal originating from a neighboring location was detected. The closest lighthouse which could send such a signal was about 20 nautical miles away. Two more similar monolith-shaped structures having the size of 90 by 21 feet have also been discovered. Tire Graveyard An underwater wasteland comprising decaying tires is located about 7,000 feet off the coast of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It's called Osborne Reef, has about 2 million tires, and was created in the 1970s as part of the Bioecological Project. In the spring of 1972, a non-profit organization called Broward Artificial Reef, or BAR Incorporated, came up with this idea. It was conceived for disposing of the tires dumped in the country before the idea of recycling started. Initially, tires were dumped in an area covering acres of the ocean floor with the help of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and more than 100 privately owned boats. The Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company provided equipment for the project. Tires were packed together and fastened with steel fasteners with nylon ropes that were eroded by salty ocean water and the currents dispersed the tires, causing them to harm marine life and corals. Loch Ness Monster Professor Neil Gemmell of the University of Otago in New Zealand has discovered an immense quantity of eel DNA in the renowned Loch Ness waters. Investigation of DNA is being conducted by Gemmell with experts from the UK, Denmark and USA, Australia and France. Gemmell believed that DNA probably belongs to a huge eel which has gone extinct. Loch Ness is the British Isles and legend relates to its monster dating back to 565 AD, whereby St. Columbia is believed to have tamed the monster. The most famous picture of the monster was shot in 1934, which depicts a reptile-like long neck and head emerging from the frigid waters of the lake. All efforts to locate the monster, even aided by modern technology, have failed. The infamous Black Smokers In 1973, Robert Ballard, while using submersible Alvin for investigating the seafloor near the Galapagos Islands, came across the first black smoke event that had been heated to over 400 degrees Celsius. These hydrothermal vents can be found in the depths and have black toxic chemicals, high water pressure and temperature. Despite all these odds, these are home to a variety of aquatic life. In the past, people believed that the depths of the oceans where sunlight cannot reach are devoid of life. Millions of animals live in these hot vents and are dependent on the products of chemosynthetic bacteria called archaea bacteria, which use chemosynthesis to convert chemicals into energy. Bacteria utilize hydrogen sulfide for this purpose. Black smokers have been found in every ocean. 
One at 73 degrees latitude between Norway and Greenland is known as Loki's Castle. The deepest black smokers are found in the Cayman Trough, about 5,000 meters below sea level. Statue of Jesus In 1999, the Imperial Eagle was sunk and presently it lies on the ocean floor at a depth of 42 meters. Divers can descend to this place, famous as Christ of the Sailors, which is a massive underwater figure with the statue of Jesus Christ welcoming people with stretched arms. It's located about 330 meters below the bow of the boat. The three-meter-high monument was sunk initially at St. Paul's Island in 1990. However, in 2000, it was retrieved and taken to Cora and installed near the MV Imperial Eagle wreck. Nowadays, it's a famous scuba diving site. Hedonistic Roman Symbols Bayer, the city of Caesar, has been buried for 17 centuries underneath the turquoise seas of Italy's west coast. It was recently rediscovered by the pictures obtained by divers. It's believed that Bayer was the ancient counterpart of Las Vegas in 1st century Rome. The city became associated with luxury and hedonism of the highest order. It was frequented by great Roman Caesars like Julius Caesar, Nero and Hadrian. Accordingly, it's known as the sunken city of the Caesars and was considered superior to Pompeii, Herculaneum and Capri Bayer. Finally, Bayer was abandoned and presently it can be seen in the Gulf of Naples underwater. Underwater Steam Engine Divers busy in the depths of the Red Sea near Egypt found remnants of a locomotive steam engine at the bottom of Pharaoh Sea. It's believed that the locomotive fell off the SS Thistlegorm, a cargo ship that sailed through the Sea of the North Sea, probably in 1941. They probably never tried retrieving it and eventually it was forgotten. Atlit Yam Ruins Israel was one of the oldest flooded towns and Atlit ruins which are about 9,000 years old. These ruins are visible along Haifa's shore. It used to be part of a large and rich town thousands of years ago. Researchers successfully found a fully surviving old cemetery in the submerged city and insects too. The flooding of the city is the fundamental mystery of the Atlit Yam ruins. Some academics believe that the town slowly submerged due to melting glaciers and expanding ocean limits, or it might have been the result of a massive tsunami. Its artifacts were found in 1984. A 4,000-year-old shipwreck A 4,000-year-old wreckage has been found in the marmorous area of the Mediterranean Sea. A study was conducted by Doku Island University's Marine Sciences Institute in 2007. This shipwreck discovered in Turkey is unique as the ship has been used for commerce and dates back to the Minoan civilization which existed from 3650 to 1400 BC. The study also discovered more than 20 sunken ports, architectural remnants and over 400 anchors ranging from the Bronze Age to the Ottoman Empire. The project undertaken by 15 researchers was initially financed by Turkey's Scientific and Technological Research Council and then by the Ministry of Development. Minoan civilization was Europe's first modern civilization. Locomotive Graveyard Archaeologists have recently discovered a railway cemetery near the shore of Jersey. Here, two unique locomotives from the 1850s were placed 90 feet below the water surface. These steam engines are believed to have been lost five miles off the coast of Long Branch while they were being taken from Boston to the Mid-Atlantic. Despite experiencing rust for over 160 years, these are still in good condition. These locomotives are uncommon Planet Case 222 T-types, which were manufactured for a brief period. In 1985, Paul Helper, while using a magnetometer to survey the ocean floor, discovered these engines just by coincidence. Bronze Statue of Amphitrite Amphitrite, the gorgeous mermaid bronze statue, is located 55 feet underwater off the coast of Grand Cayman Island. Thousands of divers visit Grand Cayman to observe Amphitrite, which is 9 feet tall and weighs 600 pounds, and is placed near the beach of Sunset House Resort. It's the second one created by Canadian sculptor and scuba enthusiast Simon Morris and was erected in 2000. Amphitrite attracts a large number of tourists due to its location in the warm waters of picturesque Grand Cayman. According to Greek mythology, Amphitrite was the wife of Poseidon, a powerful deity, defender of the sea, and she was the eldest of the 50 Nariads who all were daughters of Nerus and Dorish. Magnet Fishing The guy seen in this video seems to be fishing, but in actuality what the individual discovered underwater baffled everyone. 
he actually pulled out a wristwatch and a hand attached to it. Magnet fishing can explain the riddle. It's the hunt for metallic items in open water that can be pulled with a powerful neodymium magnet. The phenomenon combines environmental awareness with treasure hunting, as magnets utilized are so strong that these can retrieve heavy detritus from water bodies such as discarded bicycles, firearms, safes, explosives, grenades, coins, and automobile tire rims. Persons engaged in magnet fishing also hope to find precious items. It started when sailors started using magnets to collect keys from the sea. Which of the treasures held by the ocean did you find most fascinating? Share your opinion in the comments below. We'll be back soon with more amazing stories. Until then, have a great time!